Let's go. Oh, yes. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Got a bass, man. Let's go, baby. Like third cast on the Tennessee River. Let's go. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's currently 7 a.m. and I'm here in Decatur, Alabama. I got into Decatur yesterday and as soon as I got in here, my goal was to just kind of do some fishing and you know really pick apart this place and see what this place has to offer i was in birmingham for the last week or so and there's really not a lot of fishing in birmingham uh there was a couple small lakes i could have went to and some of the like state parks around birmingham but like actually in birmingham there's just like really no place to fish get any so far back there Yesterday I saw a big old carp over here. Okay. And then there's some striped bass over here flying around. Alright. Well, hopefully maybe on this uh, top wire we'll get some striped bass. Yeah. Let's take our first cast here. I'm gonna cast over by the, this dock over here. Alright, first cast on Tennessee River. <laughs> I wouldn't call this the river, but that's definitely the river. Let's go. Oh, yes. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Got a bass, man. Let's go, baby. Like third cast on the Tennessee River. Let's go. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. All right, we're gonna have to go get our pliers. Get the pliers, get the pliers. They're here. They're here. All right, chill, chill, chill. He's bleeding. There we go. Nice. Woo. All right, first bass here on the Tennessee River. Nah, probably about a pound or so, but still, still, still a good sign because this is uh, this is like third cast in, and we got her. So let's get her back in the water. All right. Nice. Let's get some more. I want to get back right, right where I left off. Because maybe maybe we're on a school right here. Maybe we're on a school. Oh yeah, there's a lot of action going on right now. They're jumping. They're jumping. Well, it was looking real promising at first. Now, you know, 30 minutes in, one bass, but just and got that bass in the first two minutes and now no bites. So we're gonna keep casting though. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're hooked up. I'm sorry, I, I, I missed the freaking hook set because I was getting a time lapse for you and I had to run and grab my camera, but we got a bass, we got another one. Shit's wild out here. Shit is wild out here. Go grab my pliers real quick. Come on. There we go. There we go. Let's get her some water. Let's get her some water. That's fish number two, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Both of them on the top water. Both of them dinks. Definitely got to get these, uh, get the weight up. But I mean, that's still fish though. We're still catching fish. Still feels good. Still feels amazing. So, let's get some more water. 
I'm gonna get her some more water. I'm gonna take some pictures and then let her go. Let's get her released so she can get bigger and make some babies. There you go. So right now I'm just picking apart the bank line with my top water and once I'm done doing that, I'm gonna throw on a crankbait square bill, square bill crankbait because uh, we got a lot of open water, a lot of open deep water around here. So hopefully maybe if we put that on, we can get like a small mouth or something because I've never caught a small mouth before. First, I wanna pick apart this bank line because I've been having, having a lot of success doing that so far. Haven't been the biggest, but been catching fish. That's all we could ask for. I think it's time to put on my crankbait. Yeah, top water bite's dying down. So let's get into that medium water column. I think that's the strat here, and I think we're gonna use this this Guggen bait crankbait right here. Get her in the light. Oh yeah, that's sexy. I got myself tied up. Let's take a couple casts. This crankbait definitely isn't deep diving, but maybe we don't necessarily need deep diving. We just need to not be on the top, very, very top. Oh shit, oh shit, that's bass number three. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> oh, he popped off. Don't. That's bass number three. That's two. This is the smallest one, though. What was the biggest? Uh, the biggest is probably about a pound. This one's way under a pound. Oh. This is probably half a pound, if that. So. There you go, buddy. All right, bass number three. Got that one on the crankbait, though. Right, just caught that bass, but... I got lucky because as soon as my lure hit the water, he smacked it. Like no time at all. Just like a half a second later, hits the water, bam, fish on. So I didn't even have to worry about the weeds. You good? You want me to reel it in as soon as you unpop it? All right. He got stuck over there with his, his bait. Got it? All right. Now I'm gonna put it right here. Is there any more spots that we can like fish over here? Or um, is this the only spot? Uh, I've only been right here, but we can hit the bottom. Go look over yonder. Yeah, you wanna start heading that way? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Ooh, it's hot getting hot all right y'all been fishing for a couple hours now and i caught three bass got two on the topper the topper <laughs> i got two on the top water popper and then one on the uh crankbait so we're gonna be heading to a different spot now he said uh we're gonna go to like some bridges so maybe there's some big bass around there or maybe some small mouth or just something besides a large mouth bass because that's all i've been catching we're at spot number dos Two, if you don't know Spanish, you should know what dos means at least. But we're right here at this, uh, we're on the other side of this highway. And uh, I think this is, this looks more large mouth territory. This looks very large mouthy. And I guess that's what we're going to be pulling out today all day is just large mouths because I don't think I'm going to be able to really catch a small mouth from the bank like. I don't know, it's just, I gotta get on a boat for a small amount.
All right, guys, so the game plan is I'm just gonna kind of fish this bank line for the next 10 minutes or so, and then we're gonna take a hike down this trail, and it looks like there's, a, we found this spot on Google Maps, looks pretty good, so we're gonna go check it out. This looks pretty cool. Overlook spot. Nice view of the town. All right, y'all, we've been walking down this railroad track for about 15 minutes and came across this nice little spot. So I think we're gonna stop and fish here. Looks good to me. in the SUV now. They're a little dirty there. But it's about midday now, 12 o'clock noon. And uh, we're gonna call it a day here. I ended up catching three bass, three little ones. And I, you know, it's all right though. I'm, I'm grateful to catch anything at this point, really. I mean, just coming out to unknown waters and un unknown territories and being able to catch fish, I mean, that's all I could ask for, really. And, um, yeah, I wanted to make a proper Alabama fishing video for you guys. And I think, uh, I think I was able to do that. You know, if you guys want to catch some bass, definitely come out to the Decatur Huntsville area and you'll be able to do that. And let this be a testament to that as well. But, all right, guys, well, I hope you guys are enjoying your summer, enjoying your day, enjoying your weight. Peace.